Hey, welcome to another episode of the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel and podcast helping new hunters get started and helping active hunters learn new things. I'm George and today is a blistering 20 degree day, which means it is perfect for talking about insulation. And I wanna talk just a little bit about what does it mean when you see so many grams of insulation in a hunting garment. You've been there, you've seen stuff in the store. This pair of boots is 200 grams of Thinsulate, Primaloft, Thermalite, Merino, or any other insulating material that they use. There are uh, many of them, but what does it mean? You see all kinds of stuff. For example, this coat right here, this is a heavy duty parka. This thing weighs two or three pounds. Oh, actually, I think it weighs more than two or three pounds. It has 200 grams of Thinsulate in it. This glove right here, all right, you see this? That glove has 320 grams of Thinsulate in it. You're like, how can that be? There's no way. You're telling me that, that there, there's, there's only that much Thinsulate inside of the parka and the glove has that much in it? Well, that's not the way that it works. And you can tell this really easy if you look at boots. If you ever gone to the store, they make some crazy cold weather boots. Some have, you know, a thousand grams of Thinsulate. I've seen ones with 2,000, 2,400 grams of Thinsulate in a pair of boots. So you say, okay, well, is that for the whole pair? Is that per boot? How much is in there? And then I started doing the math one day in my head. And like many people realize, nah, this cannot mean what it appears to mean. So here's the way that it works. If it, mean, if it meant that that is the weight of thin slate in the garment, you know, 200, 2,000 grams, well, that's two kilograms. A kilogram weighs 2.2 pounds. So that pair of boots, each boot then, would have four and a half pounds of thin slate in it plus the rubber, plus anything, you're looking at like a five or six pound boot and they don't weigh that. You know, it doesn't take you long to realize this boot doesn't wear anywhere close to that. So here's the way that this works. That rating, grams of thin slate, grams of Primaloft, grams of Merino wool, has to do with the grams per square meter. Okay, so if you had a square meter of fabric, a piece this big, and that is rated at 200 grams, then that square meter of fabric would, wear, would weigh 200 grams. If it's 1,000 grams, then that square meter of fabric that's this big, you know, actually it's a little bigger than that, would weigh a whole 1,000 grams, which would be two pounds and change. All right, just a square meter. But it has to do with the thickness of the material. So this glove here has 320 grams of Thinsulate in it, all right? But that is the weight of the Thinsulate in that part of the glove. It's actually not 320 grams in the whole glove. It's 320 grams in the back, in the front where the fingers are. I think that's 160 grams or so. So that glove has the thickness of 160 grams per square meter of thin slate around the fingers. And then it's got 320 grams of thin slate around the back to help keep you warm against the wind and so on. Likewise, that coat has 200 grams of thin slate throughout the whole coat. Now the coat weighs a couple pounds because there may be several yards of thin slate among other materials, of course, that are used in it. And I also wanna take just a second to thank the sponsor of this this video who is me spending my time doing copious hours of research and my money buying gear to test and review for you guys but I would really appreciate it if you supported me by hitting the thumbs up button if you're finding this video helpful it really helps reach more people and get the word out this hat that I'm wearing is 350 grams of merino wool. I did a review on it actually just a couple videos ago. I'll put a link to that in the description, but it's a 350 gram merino hat. Now that doesn't mean the hat weighs 350 grams. That means that a square yard or square meter of the material, if you had that much, it would weigh 350 grams. This hat weighs like five ounces or something like that. Now I do have a pair of merino wool base layer legs, and they actually are, they're 350 grams, but they weigh over a pound, they are solid merino. And that's because you've got over 500 grams total 
of, of material that's used because you have over a, me a square meter of material that's used to make those because they're large. So it's not a matter of, you know, there's 500 grams or a thousand grams of material in your boot or in your glove or in your coat. It's the thickness. That's why a pair of gloves like this could have a couple hundred grams of thin slate in them because it's just how thick it is in the places that they put it. And uh, that's why different garments have multiple weights. I used to think, you know, okay, that coat has 150 grams in the sleeves and then it's got 200 grams in the chest and it's got 150 grams in the hood. So I thought, oh, you just add all that together to get the total insulation. Well, no, that's the thickness in every part of the garment. So the arms have less thin slate in them than the body does because the arms need to move more. You need to be more flexible and the body, you want to keep your core warmer. So that's where they put more thin slate and your core doesn't need to move as much so you can pack more insulation into it. So whatever garment you see, the grams of Thinsulate or Primaloft or Thermalite or Merino or any other of a hundred different kinds of insulation has to do with the grams per square meter. So that's the thickness of the material. That's why a pair of gloves can only weigh an ounce or two and still have several hundred grams of Thinsulate in them because it's the thickness and the part of the glove. So guys, if this is helpful for you, please hit that thumbs up button. Really appreciate you guys. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.